As many of you know, last season we failed to get rank 1. And what's worse is how close we were. We were rank 2, just one spot away from being the best. But that's not acceptable. Because in this channel, we are the best. So this season, we're gonna reclaim our throne as the rank 1 Wild Rift player. But to do that, we need to improve. And more than just improve, we need to innovate. So I went back and analyzed hundreds of my games from last season to improve and to get better, break my bad habits and figure out a strategy for this season to get rank 1. After analyzing my gameplay, I noticed a few things. First of all, I die way too much. I actually have the lowest KDA out of any Sovereign player and most Challenger players. When I'm ahead, I take really bad fights and I throw my lead. And when I'm behind, I make desperate plays that just set me even further behind. What I need to do is focus on my strengths, and that's macro. I need to outplay my opponents on the map with better decision making to generate huge gold leads and close out the games. Another issue I ran into is not closing out the game. Despite being the most fed champion in the game, I struggle to close out games while my team is slightly behind. So I pretty much need to die less and carry harder with my leads. And this thought process reminded me of a very underappreciated item in Wild Rift. The Magi's Soul Stealer. It fits exactly the description we're looking for. Magi's is an extremely unique item. For 1800 gold, you get 7% magic pen, 25 AP, and 70 health. Terrible stats. Magi's is actually the least gold efficient item in the game. By the way, shout out to this website that has the gold efficiencies of every item in the game. The link will be in the description. You're spending 1,800 gold to get an amplifying tome worth of AP and half a ruby crystal worth of health. But what makes Magi's truly special is its passive. Magi's passive allows you to generate glory for kills and assists. You get 3 or 4 stacks per kill, depending on if you're melee or ranged, and 2 stacks for assists. But if you die, you lose 10 glory stacks. Now the cool thing is that each glory stack gives you 5 AP, and you can generate up to 30 glory stacks. Which means, at 30 stacks, you get a free 150 AP from the Magi's passive. And that's not all, you also get 10% bonus movement speed once you reach 10 stacks. So if you maxed out your Magi's at 30 stacks, you get 7% magic pen, you get 70 HP, and you get 175 AP, and also 10% bonus movement speed, making Magi's the most gold efficient item in the game. So Magi's has the potential to be the best item in the game. But let's review the downsides. You might think that the main downside of Magi's is that if you die, you lose 50 AP and potentially your 10% movement speed buff. And while that does suck, that's actually not the main weakness of Magi's. The main weakness of Magi's is when you build it. When you build Magi's, you use 1800 gold for only 25 AP and 70 HP. Let's compare two scenarios. You base with 2000 gold. You have the option of buying 4 amplifying tomes and getting 100 AP. Or you can buy Magi's for 25 AP and 70 HP. Not a great deal. However, I'm usually very far ahead in the early game and mid game. So buying Magi's won't be that big of an issue for me since I'm already so far ahead. And the reward of being able to get 175 AP seems definitely worth it. So now that I convinced you that Magi's is the best item in the game, let's figure out which champion to build it on. Okay, so first off, let's eliminate all non-AP champions since Magi's is an AP item. And since you get 3 stacks per kill if you're melee and 4 stacks if you're ranged, let's get rid of all the melee champions. So now we mostly have mages left. While looking for a champion, we need to consider a few things. First of all, their AP scalings. Champions with really high AP scalings will do more damage based on the amount of AP that they get. And since Magi's gives a lot of AP, Ideally, we want our champion to have huge AP scalings. For example, Ari has really low AP scalings, while champions like Gragas and Fizz have insane AP scalings. Next, we need to find a champion that can fit Magi's into their build. For example, Lilia really wants to build Riftmaker and Leandri's Torment, then Deathcap. 
so she doesn't really have a lot of space for magis. Lastly, and most importantly, we need a champion that can stay safe. We can't be dying a lot and giving up our stacks. So after looking through every champion, I've decided on the following picks. Syndra, Vladimir, Ziggs, Orianna, Twisted Fate, and Zoe. But to decide which ones we should primarily use, let's rank them in these categories. So Syndra has insane AP scalings, and what's more, once you max out her passive, you get an additional 12% AP boost, which works great if you're able to get 175 AP from Magi's. It fits great into her build, since there's no must-build items for Syndra. Her one issue is that her safety is not the best. If a champion gets on top of you, you're kind of doomed. Ziggs also gets decent value from the AP. His build doesn't fit it the best, but he's relatively safe since you mostly sit back and poke. Vladimir is somewhere in the middle of all three categories. Oriana has pretty low AP scalings and her build doesn't really fit it. However, she's extremely safe. Twisted Fate gets huge value from it, especially because of the 10% bonus movement speed. However, he's not very safe. Zoe falls into the same bubble. Get it? Like sleepy trouble bubble? Anyway. Zoe falls into the same bubble. She has really high AP scalings and it fits her build well, however, she doesn't have any safety and she relies on RNG by getting lucky second ability pickups. So here's how we're gonna prioritize them. Syndra and Ziggs are definitely the best picks for it. Twisted Fate, Zoe and Vladimir are great choices, but Orianna just doesn't seem so worth it, so we're just gonna kick her out. Now that we have our strategy ready, I want to jump into some gameplay and let's see how powerful Magi's can really be and if it's the boost we need to get to rank 1. Okay, so we're rank 20 something, I think 23 right now, we're high grandmaster, so we're in a pretty high low game, so with some of the best players in NA. We're actually playing Syndra versus Lucian mid, which is a pretty tough matchup. You can see my rooms there, they're actually quite scaling, not really focused on lane too much. And we are gonna start off pretty badly already taking some chip damage. Lucian is a pretty rough matchup for us, so in the early game we mostly just want to play safe. But at the same time, it's really important that we're constantly hitting our abilities with Syndra. Oh, this is not a good trade whatsoever. We're gonna have to back off. I will just go base here, we're not gonna be greedy. We're only going to miss probably one minion for it and we'll have all our HP back. A lot of time when we have a losing matchup, I see players make this mistake. They stay in lane with incredibly low HP and they end up losing way more than they would lose if they just went base and came back. So we'll have all our HP back and we only missed one minion. What's important for us is to keep throwing spells at Lucian. As I mentioned earlier in the video, Syndra's passive will give us 12% bonus AP. But that's if we stack it to 120 stacks. And you can see in the bottom of the screen, we currently have 8, now 9. The way that you get stacks with Syndra is by hitting enemies with abilities. So every time we hit Lucian with an ability, we get an additional stack. Now we're 10, we're 12. Um, another way to get stacks is you get 2 stacks every time you level up. So that's why I've got 2 bonus ones right there. So we want to keep poking Lucian as much as we can to get our stacks while remaining relatively safe. It looks like Lucian has already gone back to base, which again is another benefit of us going back to base earlier because we came back with full HP, we were able to slowly poke him down and then he had to leave. So he missed a minion as well, so we're even when it comes to minions. This is why I recommend, if you're behind lane, just base. There is no shame in recalling. I do kind of want to look for a base now uh, because I can't afford my boots. However, I'm not sure if Lucian is going to allow me to go base. Still want to keep poking him as much as I can. Just missed all my spells there. Another reason we want to keep poking is for the comet. Oh, he actually ulted. He cleaned up the wave. We still have our plant, so we should be okay. Yeah, comet does more damage the more comets you hit, right? So it's another reason. It's obviously like only plus two damage every time. But it's another reason to keep um, stacking your abilities. I can look for an ult here. He still has his exhaust and flash, so I'm not gonna flash after him for a final first ability. Because if I flash and then he flashes and dodges it with exhaust as well, there's no way I will uh, win that situation. 
So we've learned our lesson and we're not gonna be greedy. We're just gonna push the wave. Oh, what is Jax doing? Attack the turret. Jax? I don't know what went on in Baron Lane, but I think Jax might have just run it down. Okay, nice. I love coming back to lane and getting the small Hextech Toolkit, the thing that makes you faster, because now we'll get back to lane faster. Uh, we're gonna go clean up a wave top and try to defend this turret as best we can. But this is a really awkward situation. Jax will run back mid, defend that. But I don't want to be versus Trindamir. This is like a hard counter champion for me. Because he can just get on top of me and I can't kill him with my ult, right? Because of his ult and he just like kills me. Maybe we can gank mid? Oh, I missed my stun. Yeah, Jax hit his stun. I have my ult coming up in a bit. Okay, we got him. We got him. Kind of misplayed that, but I don't know. Lucian had really weird movement. He wasn't running away. Uh, we're probably going to lose top turret because of this. I'm not really sure what kind of macro my Jax has right now. He's pinging that he's coming mid. Okay, he might be trolling. I'm not really sure what's going on. Bard's going to play our best. Uh, we do have a winning bot lane. We're obviously winning mid. Oh, can I flash away from that. Okay. Gragas did not expect the lane gank from Jax. Big lane gank from Jax. You know what? Maybe he's not trolling. Maybe he's just a genius. Nice. We're gonna base. We'll get all our components. And someone has to run top. We've already lost the first turret, which kind of sucks. Uh, and Trindamir now has complete control of our jungle, which is not good whatsoever. Oof, he's level 8 and he has double buffs. Can he kill us here? He just exhausts us and runs us down. I don't have ulti, I don't have anything. He has his ulti. Oh no. Maybe Jax can clean up? Okay, he's barely able to get him, which is good. But Trindamir is extremely fed now. 5,900 gold. He's 2,000 gold above everyone else in the game. And we're, we're down over 2,000 gold now just from the uh, top lane diff. That is a disaster. We can't afford we can't afford our first item yet. And the enemies are gonna take the Herald. I don't even know if we can answer with Dragon. We should probably try. We need to play away from Trindamir. Hopefully Trindamir goes top. Okay, Trindamir is top. So we can probably fight this dragon. Oh, Grax flashed on me. Okay, I was able to survive the combo thanks to the shields from Seraphine. And we can now clean up the, this fight. Nice, another kill for me. Ooh, I tried to use my balls from my ulti to stun Ezreal, but they run. They, they just got lost. The timer ran out. Unfortunately, Jax did get solo killed by Trindamir, which is really bad. This Trindamir is gonna be a problem this game. Oh, can we go maybe? Samira? Samira does not want to go on the Ezreal. It is what it is. Oh, probably need to run away. Trindamir is mid too. He's flashing on me. Sidestep. Stun. And we survive. Dude, clean sidestep on his first ability. Jarvan will probably go down, unfortunately. They're pretty trapped in our jungle. Maybe we can collapse here. I can stun Trindamir. Draw my ulti. Oh, he just exhausts and runs me down, man. Oh, he's getting a little greedy, though. I don't think he went down. Okay, we do get the shutdown on him. That's good. In the meantime, we do have Jax split pushing. So Jax is gonna get some turrets. Okay, so we've completed our horizon focus. Which is uh, a pretty good first item on Syndra, really good core item since you, all your spells are really high ranged. And now we're gonna build into the Magi's Soul Stealer. This is actually a perfect game for it uh, because we are ahead, or I am ahead at least, right? I'm actually even in gold with Lucian, but overall our bot side is ahead. It's only our top side that's doing really bad. Jax is really far behind uh, to the Strindamir. Mostly because he was soft and thing i'm gonna like he, he didn't truly run it down but he was kind of trolling the macro what is jack's building death cap dude is this like a hell's devil build yo that's crazy that is the worst jack's build i've ever seen in my life oh gragas what is gragas doing 
do our full combo on him and it's just enough damage and we get our first four stacks. That's exactly why we want Magi's on Syndra. Even by sacrificing some of our early power to get Magi's, we still have enough damage to one-shot him. Oh, it's a little dangerous. But we do get our first four stacks. It's really important that we get to 10 as fast as possible to get that bonus movement speed. And that's gonna allow us to run away from bad fights or engage really good ones. Hello, Seraphine. Thank you for holding the wave for me. Very kind of you. Oh, Trinimer is not farming our jungle. This is not great. I'm gonna defend bot, but I might need to be defending mid. We're getting completely out macroed here. And I still have the Herald procs. Oh, maybe we can win this. Oh, big Seraph no she gets her. Can we clean up the Janna? Can we get more? I'm... I think we can get more. Perfect for my team. Ideally, I want to get the kill. Perfect. I get 10 stacks now. You should be last hitting kills when you have Magi's, right? You want to get those stacks. We already have 10 stacks. Okay, the aims are doing a good job defending. We can probably go in on this. I've got the stun. I hit the Gragas. And we're able to secure another one. 14 stacks on the Magi's. Big. Lucian's being greedy too. Another two stacks for us. That's 16. And we're coming back into this game. Oh, big Ezreal ult. Can get that blue buff here. Trinimir is probably gonna get an inhib turret for this. Even though we got so, so much elsewhere in the map, we're gonna lose an inhib turret. And the problem is no one can match Trindamir now because Jax is just building the worst build of all time. Like if he had stasis and a bit of armor, he would just be able to match Trindamir and then we would easily win the 4v4. Like Jax is actually a counter to Trindamir. I need to be super careful now. I don't want to waste my Magi stacks dying to this Trindamir. So all Jax really needs to do is just defend Trindamir with some armor and stasis. But instead he's kind of trolling us, I don't know. And now, unfortunately, Jarvan went down, so we're probably gonna lose this dragon. Maybe we can go for some crazy steal, me and the Seraphine, but it's unlikely. I don't wanna die, so I'm not gonna go too close. Oh, I think Seraphine will probably be dying. We can try and save her, but we're not really able to. Maybe we can look Janna. And another kill, that's 20 stacks. So now, even if we do die, we're still gonna continue having 10 stacks, which will be enough for a movement speed bonus. So that's really big. Can we get a Trindamir here? He doesn't have ulti anymore. I did drop the Ignite on him, which will be just enough. So we get a massive shutdown and another four stacks. We have 24 stacks and now we're gonna get our death cap, which works super good with the Magi stacks, right? 24 times 5 AP plus the 45% or whatever it is right now from the death cap. We have so, so much AP. We're extremely strong. So maybe we're going to be able to carry the full AP jacks. We do have to be careful. We don't want to mess up and we don't want to lose our stacks though. And of course, Syndra is one of the best scaling champions in the game. So we want to get our passive stacks too. We have 94 right now. We want to get to 120 as quick as possible. But obviously, we don't want to overextend and look for damage. Our catch potential is also really insane with our long range stun. Oh, Syndra's gen is walking into it. Oh, we slightly messed up our combo because we didn't hit our second ability. That should have been a dead Syndra. And we can still fight this with Seraphine. Good ult from Seraphine. I got the stun. Nice. We get another kill on the Ezreal. Big, big, big. I need to make sure I don't mess up my combos again, though. Maybe we can start this. Oh, Samira went bot for Trindamir. Never mind, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Maybe we can fight it, though. I am extremely strong. Okay, good one shot from Jarvan. Probably dashed over the wall, yep. Okay, let's clean up this wave. We do have our inhib respawning in less than a minute, which is really, really good. It's gonna alleviate some pressure and we can actually make plays. One big issue that we have is that we can't really make plays right now. 
Like, it's impossible to make any plays because Trindamir requires the attention of two champions most of the time. Uh, not just one. So we're constantly numbers down. If we don't want to lose our inhib and possibly our nexus. That's why it's really important for Jax to be able to defend the split push, but he's not. Oh, he's actually going to die in the side lane to Lucian. This Jax is making this game very difficult. But these are the games that we need to carry to get rank 1, right? So this one we need Magi's for. Good stun. Decent poke. I could have overextended for the ulti, but I am playing very cautiously. I don't want to make mistakes and lose these stacks. Even though I could maybe have walked up there and guy and guy and a kill. Oh no. Samir is gonna probably go down to turn the mirror. That's not good. We need 11 more stacks to get our 12% AP. We already have all of our abilities upgraded, which is nice. But we can clean up turn the mirror. He still has ulti, I think, but I do have stasis. So it should be fine. I mean, extra cautious. I don't care if Seraphine dies, to be honest. Okay, we do get the turn the mirror. But Jarvan died and the enemies did get Baron for it. And I mean, what else are you gonna do? Either we stop Tryndamere or we lose Baron. We really need this Jax to get Stasis, get some armor, and fight, and be able to lane against the Tryndamere. He's a big hard counter. I don't know why he's building like this, and I don't know why he's inting us. But hopefully we can still win against them. Oh, that's really so tanky, man. Oh, yikes. Send flush away. I might die here. I do die. Hopefully we get the shutdown, at least we do. He's so, so tanky. Yeah, that's my bad. I was not positioning correctly there, but... I feel really bad. At least we stole... We kind of stopped their Baron, right? Because two of them went down. The Kragas is 060, bow son. Yikes, man. He's trying to make the game winnable for us. Can they clean up the Lucian as well? Nice! The damage is absolutely crazy from the Jarvan and the Samira. Which makes sense, because I'm pretty sure both Ezreal and Lucian have more of the Malmordius third item. They are so scared of me, bro. Look at that. More of Malmordius third item for both of them. They're so scared of the Syndra damage. Okay. We need three more stacks to get the 12% AP, and then we're gonna. Then our damage is gonna be absolutely off the wall. Like, we already have so many stacks on Magi, it's 22 stacks. If we're able to also get uh, our passive, which we're gonna gain three more abilities, it will be massive. How uh, we can maybe. It's kind of scary face checking here, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. Got the Ezreal. I'll drop the ult on him, but that shouldn't be enough. Yeah, it's not enough. But that does give me enough to finally get my passive stacks, which is big. Big ultimate from the Seraphine into my stun, into the Jack stun, and we get two of them. But we need to run away. We need to defend our base. Oh, Jax is trolling. Are they able to defend? No. Turnimir picks up the Samira. Oh, he's going on me. Okay, I survive. Dodge the ultimate! I got stasis, but he completely whiffed it, so I can just dodge it. And we're able to get the turret. But in the meantime, Trindamir has been destroying our base with Lucian, and we're gonna lose another inhibitor. Maybe I can get this inhibitor? This would be really helpful if we can also get some super minions. I really wanna get this inhibitor. Okay, they're spawning in 8 seconds. Okay, 8 seconds, 4 seconds. I might have enough time. Oh! I am trolling. I completely forgot that Lucian was alive. I was looking at the Ezreal and Janet Heimers, and I'm completely trolling here. Which is not good because I lose 10 stacks and we're back to 20. That's still a lot of stacks, but we did just lose 50 AP, which is not good. You know what item I really need? I really need Anti Shield. Because they have two more of Malmordiuses and Janna. So we definitely need Anti Shield. If you guys didn't know, more of Malmordius actually works on, or the anti-shield item, Trident works on more of Malmordius as well. Oh, my team's getting in a team fight without me. But Trindamir is not there either, so this is a 4v4. And they killed two of them, nice. Samir and Jarvan do so much damage to these carries, because they've itemized magic resist, right? So they stole their build for magic resist. Oh, Trindamir might go for this one. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. 
Ah, uh, he gets the inhibitor. We should be able to clean him up, though. Hopefully, I get the kill. Okay, nice. I get the kill, so we get four stocks. Perfect. Elder Dragon is spawning, and while Samira is dead, everyone in their team is dead, so we can get Elder here. My team kind of smurfed in that team fight. Okay, so we have 24 stacks. Our passive is fully cooked. We're about to get full build. We're level 15. We are as strong as we're gonna get. Now it's time to end the game. We're obviously way stronger than any full build champion because of the Magi's, right? 24 stacks it gives us more AP than any item. I want to get Baron as well here. Oh, my team really needs to not get caught. I do insane damage. If they even walk into my ult, I just one-shot them just with my ult at this point. Lucian, hello? Oh my god, the ult wasn't even needed, I think. I think just my second, third, and first ability was enough. My damage is absolutely insane, and that's a big pickup to get right before the, right before the Baron fight. If Jax can just defend the base, we can definitely just end the game as 4 here. Trinomir is already infiltrating our jungle. I'm gonna look to zone out the enemy team. I'm not able to get my spells and I don't want to get one shot by flash 30 ability Gragas. I'm making picks him up. Get the Baron, get the Baron! It was at 1 HP. Jax is gonna die to Trindamir though. We need to base, we need to get rid of this Trindamir. He immediately runs away. I'm playing the split push game pretty smart too. It really sucks that Jax died there. We could have ended. Now we can, we can still probably end if we just push out the minions. We need to get rid of the minions and then push mid and maybe we can end quickly. We have both Elder and Baron buff. Elder for another 28 seconds though. Maybe I can get another pick like the Lucian. My damage is absolutely insane. If Ezreal steps up just a little bit. And just crown, that's unfortunate. Oh, Lu what is Lucian doing? Ult? Oh, my ult just destroyed him. We can clean up the Ezreal too. What is that Syndra damage, man? That's the Magi's difference. That's the 30 stacks Magi's difference. And now we can just push down mid. Okay, good stun. Trindamir is on the split push. We need to end quickly. We need to end quickly. I do not trust Jax. Immediately stasis after I saw Gragas go in. And our team is going to clean him up. It's only Janna. We get the stun and that is it for Janna. And we're able to end the game. Massive double, you were gonna get that rank one, boys. We're getting that rank one with the Magi Syndra, Magi Ziggs, Magi Zoe. Magi is gonna get us to rank one, I believe. 97.77% better than Syndra's, 51 out of 60 marks. We're so close to Challenger as well, and we're gonna get that MVP. Really insane damage as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Leave a like and subscribe for more Wild Rift content.